discussions. I know in studio I'm together with a gentleman and also a lady, Muturi, and also Leslie, and they will be helping me talk about the horse racing and what has been able to happen for quite a number of years now here in the country. But before that, let's uh, look at what uh, the uh, jockeys are doing and also the trainers. They are just uh, trying as much as possible to make sure that uh, the horse racing season ender is up and also ready on the cards and all the jockeys, I know they will try as much as possible to see if they will be able to finish among us the best. Rutunu Kwenike filed the following report. Preparations ahead of the final jockey club meeting are in high gear with daily training activities that break as early as dawn. Eight different races with distances of between 1,200 meters to 2,400 meters will highlight the end of 10 months 2018-2019 horse racing season. It's going to be tough end of season. Everyone uh, is uh, getting ready as you can see here. Everyone is getting one to win some more races end of season. And uh, there will be uh, the, the series is go still going on. There will be the, the big one that will be over two, two, 2,400 meters. That's what everyone is looking for. The sport once established dominance in the country, but it has continued to witness dwindling heights due to many factors, etching worry across the jockey fraternity. At the moment, uh, it's not like uh, back then when I started riding. Up, uh, back then, uh, the sport was uh, high, the stake money was uh, up, and uh, more horses, more trainers. Now we're getting fewer horses and uh, less trainers, and that is bringing our spot down And because uh, we're not uh, having as much meetings as we'd like to. Furthermore, South Africa has emerged the ultimate conqueror in the African racing scene, main reason being sufficient investment directed towards the sport that continues to flourish. The, uh, South African uh, are doing good uh, compared to African countries. South Africa are leading, they've got a lot of horses and uh, they, they embrace their, their, their sport, they put a lot uh, into racing and uh, the jockeys they are given chances to travel to Mauritius to, uh, quite often so they get more experience. The, all, the breeding there is good, they normally change breeding every year so in Kenya we still have one, uh, I think now we have one breeder which uh, it's trying to keep the racing going, but uh, we can't compare with South Africa. The horse racing community is calling for more involvement by the general public and also for financial backing. <laughs> it's been 10 months already and the horse racing season in the country is coming to an end. About 50 horses are expected on the track right here at the Ngong Racecourse on Sunday for the final event which will see these horses bring their best challenge to make sure they end the season with a win. Rutuno Kwonike, KTN Sports. There will be around 19 men and only one lady, and the lady is here with us in the studio who will be competing against the men. Why that kind of number? Why are ladies not taking up this sport with a lot of interest here in the country? I think it's not only here that there's not a lot of... I mean, it's difficult to get into. It's always been, throughout the world, a male-dominated sport. Um, and also, it's very tough on you physically um, to keep a certain weight. Um, and it's very tying personally, you know, as a fitness regime goes. Um, and basically it's, you know, people have always assumed that men ride better than women. Do they? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I would contest that. Yeah. Um, I know, uh, we'll be having that uh, final race uh, uh, tomorrow and uh, you have been uh, practicing and going to the, uh, now, the uh, season ender, the season decider. How are you approaching and uh, how has the season been to uh, this final race now? This, yeah, the season's been good. We've had some ups and downs um, in the sport um, due, due to lack of entries and possibly not enough horses. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as me going into tomorrow, um, you know, all my horses are fit, they're healthy, they're ready. I'm ready mentally and physically. Um, and yeah, we're ready to go mm -hmm. and hopefully win. What's your general assessment, uh, uh, Muturi? Because I know we're talking about South Africa being uh, the best in Africa, having a lot of uh, uh, breeders, at the same time having a lot of uh, uh, jockeys. What 
is Kenya not doing to be able to compete with uh, uh, such nations? Well, um, I think first and foremost is uh, we've, uh, we need to change the notion that it's, uh, it's an elite sport. That is, uh, but it is an elite sport. It, it, it's actually quite, it's, it's cheaper, way cheaper than most sports. You can't compare it to Safari Rally, and Safari Rally has uh, uh, quite a following. And that is our mandate as a board. We have a vibrant, uh, progressive board that is changing, that, that is helping uh, more interested uh, fans buy horses or join the club as jockeys or register as trainers. So we've, we're, we're on the mend as a club. Uh, being and it's not just Kenya. We are we are the only uh, race course in East Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we are on the mend on that as far as that is con uh, concerned. How has the yeah. season been? Because uh, talking about the number of riders that come in, uh, you have entries. People don't uh, register to compete. How does that affect the general outcome of uh, horse racing in the country? Well. Um, from the clip, Mungai says, uh, one of our, Mungai is one of our jockeys, says something about stake money. And that is what we are trying to improve as a board because, of course, if uh, you're paying 20, 30 uh, thousand shillings for your upkeep every month, mm -hmm. then it makes sense that when you win, uh, it's, it's something that can take care of your animals for one year. So yeah. it has definitely affected that because the less entries you have, the more, uh, the less. Uh, horse owners you have participating in racing, then the m less money you have uh, is take money. But we're in talks with uh, government, we're in talks with uh, other interested uh, partners, mm -hmm. and uh, I think in the next one year you will see a big change in horse racing. We'll take a short commercial break, but when we come back, this horse racing discussion will continue because we need to know how much maybe it will cost a person to own a race at the same time to compete here in the country. But I know mathematically they will be able to guide us through with that at the same time. We also need to know about the final race that will be highlighting the menu tomorrow. What is exactly happening tomorrow and why is that race special? That and much more after the commercial break.